This is going to be a quick, short, two-part explanation of the original Four Noble Truths as I found in the earliest Buddhism. Bear with me, I'm first going to start off with, I've had this request many hundreds of times over the years, reading of the ancient Four Noble Truths in the original Prakrit Pali. This is close to Gautama's uh, Brahmi Prakrit as we can get. It is actually almost identical to the Brahmi Prakrit as found on the Ashokan Pillar Edicts. Many of the words are exactly the same, and this is exactly as close as you can get to what Gautama said. And then we'll have a very quick discussion about what the original Four Noble Truths are. Let's start with the first Noble Truth. The second noble truth. The third noble truth. The fourth noble truth. Those are the four noble truths as read in the ancient Pali. What are the Four Noble Truths? They are not original to Buddhism. It is an ancient, even in Gautama's time, it's the, the doctor's motto, in Gautama's time it was the ancient Vedic doctor's fourfold motto regarding a sickness or a malady. We'll talk about chronological, chronological order in the second part of this little series, but they, they, number one, this doctor's motto is suffering. Two is the malady or the disease. Number three is the diagnosis, and four is the medicine or the cure. Even in Gautama's time, when this was an extremely archaic, well-known principle of establishing people's sickness and maladies, getting to the diagnosis, understanding what the root cause was chronologically, it would be number two. The second noble truth is chronologically first. However, there actually is a first prior to that, which would be Avidya, but we'll discuss that in the second part of this the discussion of the original Four Noble Truths of Buddhism. Okay? Now, that fourfold aspect is the ancient doctor's motto that is used today by every doctor. Once again, one, suffering, two, malady or disease, number three, diagnosis, and fourth, the medicine or the cure. The Four Noble Truths, sad to say, are not original to Buddhism. Okay, they were extremely archaic and very well known established paradigm of uh, of uh, establishing uh, one's disease and working out sickness and cures. And Gautama only adapted it to his metaphysics and his methodology. Of course, once again, as I said in the prior video, Gautama said it was heretical for to say that he had established a new path, a new teaching. He had only quote unquote lost, rediscovered that which was lost long ago. Uh, in the second part of this video, we'll have a discussion of the actual Four Noble Truths, what they mean metaphysically, what they mean philosophically. It will be very short and very, very concise, and uh, you'll be able to gain a lot from it. And this is the actual Four Noble Truths. So I hope you enjoyed a reading of the ancient Prakrit Pali of the Four Noble Truths. Stay tuned for part number two.